iron is an atom that really would like to, if it could, get rid of a few electrons. Oxygen, on the other hand, is an atom that would like, if it can, to receive some electrons. So if you put them together, and they stick together, that's what we call rust. And the process that makes our blood red is similar. We're almost rusting, but not quite. One of the jobs of your blood is to take oxygen from your lungs and transport it around your body to where it's needed. So that means you need some structure that can, can bind oxygen to it, but quite gently, so that it can be carried to where it's needed and then released easily. Well, iron likes to stick to oxygen, so in your blood you have iron atoms, but they're surrounded by nitrogen atoms, four of them, and that's surrounded by a big ring of carbon and oxygen atoms. That whole thing is called heme, and then four of those are stuck together, and that thing's called haemoglobin. Its job is to carry oxygen around, and the oxygen attaches your blood, turns a much brighter red. And then the haemoglobin can carry that oxygen around, but because of that structure, it's so delicately tuned that when the oxygen gets to where it's needed, in your brain, for example, it can be taken off. Your blood gets less red and goes back to your lungs to get some more oxygen. So biology is really about using the natural chemical reactions of the elements, but tempering them and fine-tuning them with intricate and complex structures in order to do something useful, which in your case is to live.